Or mound on the water Lightning to the east It's hard to make a living From the bottom of the sea Shadows on the canyon I may never see A fisherman is what I'll always be Sunset on the prairie Wind across the plain Evening star is shining Lord, we sure could use some rain The coast of Carolina I may never see A cattle man is what I'll always be Too, probably. <laughs> Have a good one. forecast calling for any breaks of morning sun giving way to mostly cloudy skies today a few breaks of sh uh, showers but those should be ending later on today. on Wednesday mostly sunny and well good the weather shouldn't be too bad so we got overcast right now with some clouds but that's good so I don't mind the cold at all so welcome to Vermont diggers I am on my way to a new location um, I've got a two-point mission today. First point is to um, investigate this site that I have never been on before. My brother called over and got permission from the landowner last night. And uh, it's up near my family, where my family's from. And the second part of my mission is to hang my son's deer stand so that the deer in the area can get used to it being there within the next few weeks and uh, hopefully we can harvest some meat so anyway back to the other topic so all that I can tell you about this place is that it was a large farmhouse uh, well medium to large farmhouse the barn has been all redone and it's still standing across the street but that being said, the house is gone. It was um, burned down by the fire department about 10 years ago or so. And the only thing I can tell you, because I've tried to research it last night for hours, for like three hours I spent trying to research this place and I couldn't find anything. And uh, the old man that used to live there, his name was Harry. And I know that he planted a grove of trees around the house for a couple of, or around the properties for a couple of people. I also know that he was a, a local homeowner there and he worked the land a little bit, but I'm not sure how much of a farmer he was because by the time I was old enough to remember him being there, um, he was old enough to almost be gone. So he was probably in his 70s or 80s when I was a boy. So. There's definitely a farmhouse there. There's definitely a working field in the back. Um, there's definitely a barn across the road. So that's pretty much all I can tell you. I Google searched and um, looked for grave, um, grave 
interviews, looked for obituaries, looked for um, census information, all sorts of stuff last night. And the only thing I could find was uh, on historic aerials, the site was still there in 1920. So I know that the structure is, is 100 years old, but I know it's older than that. I just don't know how much older. So the site in question is more than 100 years old, potentially 200, but I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it doesn't go back to, um, ooh, look at that, cornfields. Check it out. Yeah, so if you drive by a cornfield, all you think about is metal detecting. Chances are you're a metal detector. So anyway, long and the short of it is I'm going to go there and check it out and hopefully find out some more history on the place by the things that I find and maybe I can date it. So I'm going to head out into the field and there's also this story about a wedding that happened there um, about five or six years ago and somebody lost a set of $10,000 gold earrings and blah 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 and I have no idea if there, that bears any truth at all but wouldn't that be interesting to find that. So, I'm not there looking for gold earrings though. But gold earrings are never worth what you pay for them anyway. So, their weight would be worth a lot less probably. So that's a fun story that goes with the place, but I don't know if there's any validity to it or not. So anyway, I'll just keep saying so until people get sick of me saying so. So, all right, so we'll talk to you guys later and I will give you a, uh, a picture of the land when we get there. It's nice to see the corn coming down. So finally get out into these fields. All right, so hopefully the field's been bailed off and uh, shouldn't be too long. So we'll talk to you when we get there. country music stations. I love this road though. It's a lot of fun. I just pulled in. Yeah, I just want to give you an idea of the layout here. The uh, <coughs> you'll have to excuse my voice. I've been got this respiratory thing that's been going on for a while, and finally got on some medication that's doing the job. But we'll see how it goes. So, all right, leaves are starting to turn up here, and you can see the old barn behind the trees over here. Let's see if I can give you a better look. I don't think that barn dates back as old as the house site. I think that's a newer barn, probably on the same site, judging by the rocks and boulders around it. But I do think that that's a uh, an old structure. But I don't think it's as old as as old as the original house. Now you used to be able to see, or on a day, oh look, there's some geese flying in. I don't know if you can see them, but. It used to be that you can, from here, you could see the Adirondacks clear across this field. Now you still can, if you look through those trees, but all those pines weren't there when I was younger. So, that's actually, uh, once we get up on the field though, maybe we can. It's definitely going to be a wet boot day. So, here's the field in question. Now you can see the, there's an apple tree over there. That's where the original house was. And then this whole area right here, all the clover and stuff, this is the site. So you used to be able to also see, I keep saying that, but you, uh, without the fog you can see, is what I'm trying to say, that there's uh, the small mountain there, and then the larger mountain out and back, and the higher in elevation. And that's actually 
the mountains to the west of here is where I've been hunting some uh, some old hole sites. There's a lot of old hole sites up through here as well, um, but I still haven't found most of those. So I'm going to be poking around here, and uh, it's overcast, might get a little rain, but I got the AT so it doesn't much matter. And we'll see what we can find. And here's the digger mobile. And we're going to see what we can uh, hunt up, alright? So here we are on the site, and we're going to do it to it. I've got the large coil on here because I was only planning on going in the field. I didn't, I wasn't planning on going over the foundation here, but I got the little coil. It's over in my car, but I figured I'd cruise over here just to see how bad the iron is, and it's pretty bad. But even with the large coil, I was able to pick this out. Check this out. There's another piece of a nail I just put in my pocket, but there's a large square nail, right? And there's an old watch face. Pretty cool, huh? So, I would say that's pretty cool. I was able to pick that out even with a large coil. So that's pretty awesome. Watch parts. And I found another little hair thing. Put it in my pouch here. See if I can dig it out. I think it's a hair thing. It's some kind of metal, but it's also got this little thing here, see? It looks like a clip. At first sight, you'd think it's nothing special, but see how it's got that neat little design on the edge? I don't know if you can see it, so... I'm not sure what that is, but it's definitely something high conductivity. It's brass, so it's going in the pocket. So those are my finds so far. Oop. And we'll see if we can't pull stuff more, more stuff out of the ground. Alrighty. Time to check in. I've uh, been out here for since like 7:30. It's now 9:23, so a couple hours. Spent some time around the foundation, but there's so much melted lead and everything. I just found tons of junk. So I went back out here in the field, sailing around. I found a couple of really cool axe heads, turn of the century axe heads. They're in my bucket, I'll show you them after. And then I got a really good solid hit out here. Just to give you an idea where I am. The house used to be right there. There's that tree, set of three trees there, and then that little bush over there, it's an apple tree. The house was in between those. And you can see the gate, way over there. That was, <coughs> that was the driveway. So this is all backyard right here. This is all open field. So check this out. Stopped my heart because I thought it was a coin, but it's not. It's, I thought it was a cap, but it's got these cool little ridges on it and these little spindle things. So it's some kind of lock or something, but I thought it was really cool. It almost looks like a clock part, but I can't really tell. So that's pretty cool. Let me see the edges there. It's got these little gears on it, like these little sharp things, you know. Alright, so that's cool. So we're going to keep searching. I going all over it, so <laughs> that freaked me out. But that's still cool. I'm still looking for my colonial copper, but at least I got something neat. All right, back in the, let's go in the bucket. Okay, so, I was at that site, found a couple axe heads, I found a nickel out in the middle of the field. I found uh, other various things and got kind of bored with it. Wasn't finding anything too crazy or anything too awesome. Some clock parts, or actually watch parts. And uh, that was pretty cool though. So I decided before I burned out on it, I'd go to a different site. So just down the road, there's another site here in my neighbor's house growing up. And uh, if you look over there, there's a bush with a tree growing through the middle. That used to be a structure. And uh, in 1902, in the maps, that building was still recorded on the map. So I've been told that it was a, an old house turned into a barn. And I've been here before. I found some wagon hoops and some other old iron stove parts so that seems to be true um, I used it for storage uh, for uh, um, farm equipment and stuff like that here's the interesting thing though 
you look at that, that's the old foundation right there, okay. But here's the thing. The foundation stones, believe, trust me, they're all, they're all, they're in there. I've already looked underneath all that. There's one stone right there, there's the front step. But look at this impression right here on the ground. Does that scream cellar hole or what? And this was here a hundred years ago on the maps, and I've been told that for a few generations, um, this family has been on this farm, and they've known the people that were on it before that as well. So maybe as many as four generations were going back. So we're talking uh, mid 1800s. So I see a sinkhole here, and I see a foundation right there. So I'm thinking that maybe this was the main house, right on top of this hill overlooking the road and overlooking the mountains with a pond down there. You can't see the pond, but it's down there. This has got to be a house site. So I'm going to nail this one down for a couple hours and we'll see what we can find. Alrighty, here we go. That's pretty cool. See that? Like roses or something? It's gonna go in the pocket. I came out of something. Alright. We'll keep hitting it. A lot of iron though, man, just in that one spot. I gotta might have to go to my little coil in a minute. Good solid 81 hit. Just found a piece of a buckle. It's cool. Looks like a little bridle buckle. Right here. She's been on the ground a while. She's going in the bucket. Good one. Okay. So these are the finds of the day. Still blag. Barrel band, a hinge, oh. more banding, can, 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 junk, tractor pin, stove parts, sardines, really? I hate hand warmer, piece of a hoe. Cut her tooth off of a uh, mower. What kind is this? Square Chastet. nails. Is this chest? And axe heads. Number one. Guys, this chapstick. Number two. Guys, this chapstick. It is chapstick. It's old though. You wouldn't want to use it. Well, I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like a wedge, but it's got a hole in it. Oh. Whoa. And there it is, mixed up. That's what he does. Hey, give that back. Woo! Okay. I am ready for magic! So here is the interesting things. And here's the cool find. And you, of course you have a oh. 1940-something International Harvester Pickup Truck. Tailgate. I thought that was pretty cool. It's gonna go right on my barn, right there under my big wrench. Pretty cool. Say hi. <laughs> so that's that.